Hello, I'm John Paul, the coordinator of the Maltese NGO in Issyamet, the organizers of the Malta Mediterranean Literature Festival in Valletta, Malta. First of all, I would like to thank Versopolis for organizing this festival at such a difficult time. We can do with some hope, and we are very excited to contribute to such an initiative. At Anitia Med, we believe in collaboration rather than competition. In fact, a main characteristic of our week-long festival is a translation workshop, in which our invited authors translate each other. It is a great way to mix our ideas, learn from each other, and then equally understand each other. If we beat the odds and we manage to organize this year's edition, at the last week of August, we will be celebrating our 15th edition. For us, the Mediterranean is the space that brings people together. And so we, so we also seek writers from both around us and from well beyond our shores. Among them, we have hosted Tamim Barhouti, Isham Matar, Sion, Marina Warner and Tasli Erdogan. And we hope to keep on doing so in the years ahead. Yanello teaches Maltese to very tall youths. She writes in small letters, as capital letters, Irke. She does not eat animals and spends her free time cuddling her dog, researching, reading and writing. Once someone described her as the red hair daughter. She loves black and white photos and she loves black coffee. She writes the Tikkamalti textbooks with Claire Atzopardi. She won various local awards and in 2015 she took part in the Biennale and won the award for Best Newcomer in Writing. She's working on her poetry, as well as her second teen novel. Hi, I'm Liana Lul. I'm a Maltese poet, and today I will be presenting one of my poems in both English and Maltese, my native language. I hope that this poem and poetry in general brings you a bit of solace in these turbulent times. The poem is entitled On My Death. On my death. Note on my death, or the day I become see, my will. The day I die in your hands, do not ask what colour the autumn is nor what shape it is, but listen to the disoriented steps, beating rhythms that were never our own. There will be no rhythms left, not a single beautiful piece of music, not a sky observing vigil, not a river letting itself go. The wind has a bizarre knack for getting into precarious corners and taking our legs and hands and selves apart. We gaze at the bizarre sky and savour the taste of autumn. Do you remember the jolts and the taste of the jolts? Do you remember thinking of things you never say, that I never say, that we never say out of fear? And the teasing sky turns dark. There are no complex definitions. Another day passed and here we are, gazing. Would you like to dismount this arm and take it with you wherever you go? This leg is tired now, but if you like, take it too. Take me, take I, take my. The day I die in your hands, do not ask what colour the autumn is. Think of the tale of the calm sea. Think of my cut-up hands swimming alone and my legs willingly paddling. Think of my fingers anxious to write new and newer words. If only I could have written silence, but your sounds are too sweet and your silent spaces invite me to invade them. Have I ever told you that in silence the fear of death overwhelms me? 
and the thought of you ticks on until it opens my eyes so I can leave with them wide open as the night dew pierces a curious pupil and shh. Keep quiet, will you? The day I die in your hands, do not ask what colour the autumn is. Leave me to worry myself and dismount myself, to dream myself and chill myself. I've always done everything myself and I shall die alone too. Death is something you do alone and this you understand. We won't be doing this together. The fear is too great. If you like, I can leave a little of the fear behind for you to understand. Blow on the waves so they dance with me the day I die and leave me naked on the water for the sea to swallow me, for me to become sea. That was the English version of the poem translated by poet and translator Antoine Cassar. So the poem was originally written in Maltese and will be part of um, an anthology of mine that will be coming out um, in the coming weeks. It will be published by Merlin Publishers and it will be entitled L'Inventario Tal Camera Il Kahala, which translates to the, infant, the inventory of the Blue Room. So now I will read the Maltese version of the poem, entitled Fuq Mewti. Fuq Mewti. Noti Fuq Mewti. Yoda Kinar Linsir Bahar. Testament. Bakinar Limut Fideik. Tista Sish Shkuluri Il Harifa. Yosh for Manda. Imma isma l-passi perplessi ħabtu ritmi li qatt ma kienu tana. Ma jifdalx ritmu u ritmu. Ebda biċa muzika sabiħa. Ebda sema jivvista fuqi. Ebda xmara tintela għal-riħa. U r-riħ għandu ħabta stramba jidħol fl-irkejjem prekari u jizar ma riġlejna idejna u aħna. Nitxa saw li jisema stram pun soffu t-toma tal-ħarifa. Tiftakar li skossi u t-tomit tal-li skossi? Tiftakar taħseb fafariet li ma tejġ, li ma nejġ, li ma nejdu xax nibza u s-sema nke jusi mbidel f-skur. Memx tifsirit kumplessi għadda ju miħor u għadna għaw. Nitxa saw. Triċ s-sar ma da drieħa tihdu miħak. Fejnt mur, dar riġa l-ormaj għajja ma ktrit hudu kol hu li li hu jiena hu minni. Dakin għar li mud fidejk, tistaqsix xkuluri l-ħarifa. Aħseb fil-ħrafa tal-bahar kalm, aħseb fideja mimli jaqsim jomu għahedom u riġleja jaqtfu għal-riħom. Aħseb f-subajja jikluni bix jiktbu klim ġdid u iktar ġdid. Ki kustajt ktib tiskiet imma l-ħsejja stijak zbihwis u l-spazzi sik ta tijek jistedun n-invadijom. Għattet lak li fiskiet taħkim n-ilbiza tal-mewt u l-ħsejb tijak it-tektek sa jiftaħ li għajneja għannit laq bijom berax bis-sirda t-infet xabba t-imrax t-ikka u s-kotrit. Dakin għar li mmud fidejk tistaqsix kuluri l-ħarifa, għallin inħassibni un zarmani, nuħlomni un kessahni, bindejjem namil kollox wahdi kontu un kemmud. Il-mewta mila wahda kutifima, din mmux senam luha flimkienax il-biza kbir wis. Jek trit inħalli lak ftet minnu ħatifem. Rewħu l-mewġ ħaj isfen mi għaj dakin għar li mmud u itil-quni fuq li l-mabla huwejjeġ, ħaj jiblan il-baħar. Thank you very much both to Inizia Med and Versopolis for this opportunity and let us keep strong together. Thank you. John Potel is a professor in the Department of Social Justice Education, OISC, from the University of Toronto. He has authored, co-authored and co-edited 18 books including four bilingual collections of poetry, two collections of short stories, one of which is available in English, Everyday Encounters, published by Burlington.
and On Word and Deed, published in 2019, and a novel. He settled in Canada in 1977, but spent six months of the year in his villa, Moy. Hello and uh, greetings uh, from Malta. My name is uh, John Portelli and I live in Canada officially, but I spend half of the year in Malta, which is my original homeland. I'm very glad to participate in this festival on poetry with a theme of hope. I think reasonable hope is very much needed, especially during these trying times. I will be reading six short poems. And before I start reading, uh, I would like to thank the translators who translated these six poems from Maltese to English. Um, Norbert Gujaya, Irene Manjon, Manda Gauci, and uh, Joseph Kauki. The first uh, poem is from my collection, Luggage Bagage, a collection in English and French. And the poem is entitled, Hope. Water is dripping from the eyes on the veranda. Under the blazing light, the monotonous cadence melts my heart in time for spring. The second poem is from another collection of mine, uh, Migrant Desires, also a bilingual collection in Maltese and English. And the poem is entitled Arab Spring. Um, it is inspired by the scene in Rabat, the capital city of Morocco, uh, particularly the river that crosses the, the city, the river Burugrek. Arab Spring. How calm the Burugrek, longing in silence, longing for the swift dive of seagulls pecking at fresh fish. The waves roll and the depths lower across the dark, flat sands, the people sunbathe. An Arab spring. Um, the, the third poem um, takes us to um, Israel. Uh, it's, it has a reference to, to Al-Quds, which is, of course, the um, Arab name for um, Jerusalem. The poem is entitled, Here Was. As you drove, I overheard your crying soul. Green tears trickle along the wall that divides. Here was a Palestinian village. Here was a Palestinian valley. Here was a Palestinian city. And here was a Palestinian orchard. Here, here. And now, now, a nation erased, engulfed by rectangular concrete structures. Slowly, we entered Al-Quds, and you let your hair down, out of which trickled olive oil. The other poem um, is also inspired by a northern city in Israel, namely Haifa. And it makes a reference to a small town right in the middle of Israel, a Palestinian town called Um el Faham. Here among the debris. Here among the debris, frolicking amongst this and that, captivated by the pointy breast of a young woman in the wind, spraying, swaying her hair in the suburbs of eternity. A bronze and beautiful face, Naurat. From Um el Faham, you ran away, too pretty to stay. And today, we weep as we gaze at this tranquil sea in Haifa, reciting the divine ballad of their wish as we sip Arab coffee 
under a palm tree, spellbound by the sweetness of cardamom here among the debris, frolicking among this and that, waiting for the walls of the suburbs to erode so that we may forever fly. The last two short poems are inspired by the sea. Um, the sea, um, for me, are, are, is, is um, definitely a symbol of, of hope. Um, both entitled The Sea. So, The Sea number one. What would I do without the sea, melancholic and wild, silent and taunting? Without it, there would be neither desire nor promise. Its azure vastness sucks me in, then spits me out where it pleases, when it pleases, as it pleases. What would I do without the sea? Every day it talks to me, gently enticing me, promising me what I do not want, what I would die for, and what I lust for. Without it, no thoughts, no words, no inspiration, no motivation. The sea, my only hope. And the last poem, also entitled um, The Sea. I, I will read this in Maltese first and then the English um, translation. So, El Bahar, which is the sea. Bahar. Uwara erbain yum ta elubia in Baht. Lehar stil meratiak ya Bahar. Uhar stek il mera tal infinit. Nesabbar bis big. Uwinti le deyam fil miftoh. Tait taish menayr madaf. The sea. And after 40 days of want, it came to me. This gaze of mine is your mirror, O sea, and yours is the mirror to infinity. It is only by you that I am soothed, you who wanders unboundedly. Do you thrive? unknowingly. Thank you very much and greetings to all and very best wishes and be safe from Malta. Thank you. Miriam Kalle is a bilingual poet and Maltese wordsmith. Her two poetic collections, Pomegranat Heart, published by Eat Books in 2015, and Inside Skin, published by the same publisher in 2016, have been described as fresh intimate and sensual. She has been published in several journals and poetry anthologies worldwide, such as For the Silent by Indigo Dreams Publishing, Please Hear What I'm Not Saying by Fly on the Wall Press, and Magic by the Gloucestershire Poetry Society. She has conducted creative writing workshops for the past few years, and her work has been translated into Slovene, Greek, Romanian, French, Norwegian and Finnish. Hi, I'm Miriam Kaleya and I will be reading some poetry in English and Maltese. My first poem is called Remember, and it is one that I wrote very recently. Remember that things used to be, are, and will be beautiful. Remember to hold on to that now in order to stay alive. Remember sitting on the floor in a room full of poetry. Remember the warmth of my legs against yours. Remember bare feet. Remember the soft clinking of glass, the summer night expanding outside. Remember underground parties. Remember brushing against strangers. Remember eye contact. 
Remember kissing on someone else's sofa. Remember tasting your friend's drink. Remember hugs. Remember sand getting everywhere, the sun about to disappear, that picnic on the beach. Remember laughter. <laughs> Remember the sounds of the office, the water cooler chats, the feeling of Friday. Remember sharing food, cooking together. Remember long chats. Remember how we cried and hugged and laughed again. Remember victories and failures and how you stuck by through all of them. Remember busy city streets, losing you and finding you again. Remember long train rides. Remember how we sat across strangers to eat. Remember busy restaurants and how they all sang on my birthday. Remember champagne by the river, old bookshops and their smell. Remember holding your best friend's hand. Remember museums. Remember being your own museums with a life drawn on your skin. Remember parties and party food. <laughs> remember live music. Remember that dog that licked my hand. Remember the trampoline under the stars. Remember the weeping willow. Remember hot chocolate at the top of a mountain. Remember sleeping at your friend's house. Remember laughter and wine and reading to strangers. Remember, remember poetry. The next two are two poems that will be in my next collection called Stranger Intimacy. The first one is called The Madness Has Never Been So Apparent. Where Mark Zuckerberg scoots by, the poor, the ill, the homeless, yes, he scoots because driving yourself just won't fly. Where the founder of Twitter doesn't blink at what he sees, I can't remember his name, which is fine because he can't remember my name either. I sit in that spot, that's where I keep my stuff, on that bench under the weeping willow. In the corners, in shadows hidden away, I see the painted ladies, but they don't see me. When they threw me out, I renounced shoes and books, but I've kept my yoga mat and my gym card. That's my spot, and everybody knows not to step in. That's where I keep my stuff, that's where I shoot my friends, that's where I shoot myself. The trees have fallen in Fell Street. That's where I left my shoes, and if you look well enough, you'll find my needle in the haystack. Don't watch me. I shit where I sleep. I shoot in the mouth that feeds. I'm so mosaic in my thoughts that I think of a new name every week. My friends sleep in blankets at noon. They sweat their nightmares out, but not me. I stare at mirrors and wonder where all the artists went when they were driven out. Kerouac rolls in his grave. He's still hemorrhaging now. Ginsberg, by his side, rolls another cigarette. Rest in peace, my dear friend, he whispers to Jack. The beat goes on. Our job is never done. The next one is called Shining Cuckoo. Remember the time you told me about the meaning behind your hummingbird tattoo? How intently and seriously we took each other then. With silence comes space. It confuses the memory. The cuckoo is different. It is nasty, and not many know this. And yet, we use it to tell that the time has come to make new friends. Look at the way I froze after you left me with so much left unsaid. Look at the way they'll find me in museums, looking whole, as though you'd never broken me into tiny pieces. And my poem in Maltese is called Diaspora. Sebahne bil mauch, orokli drihi bil melch, helwa biberia, sabiha, serhek. Zomli idi, atili aineya, haner et fik. Mataf nish, mataf shlin hop nom fil font bis. And that's me. Thank you. Mm -hmm.